Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over basically the extensions that I use on GNOME 46 and how to get them working. Because right now, GNOME 46, people are just worried their extensions aren't good enough. And uh, because of that, uh, people are not submitting them right away. They're waiting. Uh, places like Dash to Dock and App Emit. What is this one called? app indicator and quick settings tweak so we need to do i guess i need to show you how to compile these and get these working uh we're compiling this one because honestly the new pipelines project pretty cool now as you could see i already have extensions enabled and these are the extensions i use not all of these need to be compiled most of these you can find within the extension store as always so weather o'clock, user theme, just perfection, extensions list, and arc menu, and blur my shell are all in the GNOME extensions, um, you know, app already. The ones that I use, it's called extension manager. And I believe it's here. You go to browse and you basically just search for what you want to install. I have user themes. I don't know why I have app menu. I don't like that you use that at all. Extensions list. Arc menu is right there. Just perfection is right here. Blur my shell is right there as well. So yeah, you should be good to go. All right, to start off, we're gonna do dash to dock. So I right click and I extract. I got this from GitHub. You'll find it in the link. Uh, sorry, not in the link. You'll find it in the description below from a link. And we open up and what we do is we type make and make install and that's it. It's installed and ready to go. Next for this one right here, if I can just on select, can I just like extract that one, please? Good. Uh, it's the same thing. Open a console, make. Oh, there is no make. Is this one of those ones that has a weird install file? Is it just messing build? Yeah, with this one, it was a little bit more complicated, but it was around just that, which is a bit annoying. So installing this one's a bit of a pain in the ass. And if we go into build, it's right here. And there's a ninja file. So ninja, no, CD, build, ninja, sudo. Oh, no, actually you could just do ninja install and it's done. Figuring that one's out is a bit difficult because I did it a completely different way where I get cloned it and hold it down in a nutshell. I know it's it's a bit strange, but yeah, now we got that one installed. And for our next trick, we're gonna extract this one. So this one also does it a bit differently. So you open console and you do slash install, and then you type install and it's done. Okay. And then we do this one last. So once again, make, make install. And that's it. Those are installed. Those are completed. And what do you do now? You log out and log back in to be able to use them. And if you have installed extensions list, you can go up here and enable them. It will look like this. See? The enabled ones have a check mark and the disabled ones do not. And you can also click this so it doesn't show a gigantic mess. Now, weather o'clock is also on the extension manager. So let me show you my settings because these are important for this. I just enable these three options and that's all I need to do. And the reason I do this is so that we can, I can see my microphone and everything else here. I'll turn them off. Watch Turn that off. And then I'm going to turn this back on and there's a difference. So you can select your output in here. Now it's uh, very, very useful. And it also allows for quick toggles and things like that. There's other options that I just don't need. Next one, we have the app indicator. I leave it as default. I don't need to do anything. For arc menu, I always end up going into arc menu settings. Menu button, I select my icon. I always select the Nabora icon. You can select whichever icon you feel most comfortable with. If you want to be a purist, there's the arch icon. But as I was the one that pushed the Nabora icon to arc menu I feel obligated to use it I also set my padding to three and this is important for a multitude of reasons which I'm going to go over right now in just perfection 
So I end up going to custom or customize and I set this to two because I don't like the original padding. It's too wide, it's too thick, it doesn't work. And then I set this to zero. Setting this to zero ends up pushing that all the way against. So what we just previously set ends up fixing that. I put my clock on the right side over here and then I set it to 20 and I set this to 32. This being set to 32 depends on your monitor resolution. I set it to 32 on 1080p and 1440p, but you might want to set it higher on a 4K monitor or else it's just going to look weird. So the next one is Blur My Shell. Now, I have a video on this. This is now complicated to use. So my suggestion is to go watch that. But what I did is I left the default uh, native garrison blur for the panel. And then for my dock, I added garrison blur and corner. In the corner effect, I set it to 19 with both top corners and bottom corners on. For the blur, I maxed out the radius and the brightness. That way it's cleaner to just read, you know? As for this, I also set this or max blur and brightness is set there because I want to be able to see my panel. If I go into dash, again, I set it to corner instead of default and application blur is on and I have it enabled by default. You may not be able to really notice, but it's sort of there in the background. If I open up an application, uh, you can see that this changes colors, so it's transparent with blur. I have blacklisted Firefox, OBS, and Vescord. Okay, on to the next one. Next one is dash to dock. For me, I have hide off, so basically, the dock is always there. I am open this up. I max this. The dock is always there. That's what I prefer. You can set that on or off. It's up to you. And we already set this in just perfection, so we don't need it. I turned off show mounted devices. Don't like that. I'm leaving the trash can on, and I moved the application icon to the beginning of the dock. Because I do still use that sometimes. For appearance, I shrunk the dash because the big one looks weird and that's it. I don't need to do anything else because the dots are working and everything is just functioning as it should. Now extension list, I don't need to do anything for that. It just does what I want it to. And weather o'clock, you enable it and then you set your weather location. That's it. As for user themes, I installed the tweak tool. And I went in here and I just set to whites or dark on both Numix circle here. And I installed Numix circle folders. So if I do sudo Numix folders, it starts up an application and I can change the color of my icons. That's all. So that's my setup on GNOME 46. That's how to compile extensions. Every extension sometimes have a different way of compiling it. So figuring out is kind of easy. If there's a messin file, you just do messin build, then you CD into the build, you do ninja, and it builds it, and then you can just do ninja install. Sometimes it's just make, make install, and other times it's uh, an install script. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time.